welcome back to another review. So today we're doing one for Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. No one make a joke out of that. I know I'm practically asking for somebody to make a joke out of it with a name like that, but I didn't name this product. So this is 24 hour daily lightweight hydrating formula for healthy looking skin with glacial glycoprotein. What is a glycoprotein? Your guess is as good as mine, but I got it in some beauty box or another, so we're going to use it. Um, the full size of this, the 8 ounce version, take a guess on the price. Keels don't come cheap. $105. The smallest size that they sell, this isn't even like the smallest one, smallest one is actually bigger than this. So this is just like a sample for... I guess the beauty boxes. Uh, the smallest one is four times the size of this because this one is seven milliliters. The smallest one they sell is 28. $24 for that itty bitty little thing. Why? I don't know. Anyway, so this stuff has no scent to it. None at all. I've been using it. As you can see, it's half gone. <laughs> it's all down to one side, but. Uh, I don't even know why it's down to one side. I've had it in my skincare fridge, like, correctly, so I don't even get that. But I opened it, it was already like that, so whatever. But uh, you only need a teeny little dab, just the tiniest little dab. You can do your entire cheek with it. Get all in those fine lines. Go upwards, not downwards. Go across your cheek with it, or your chin with it. I know I'm a little broken out right now, but that's okay. Do the other cheek with it. Up and away. Not gonna do my nose, though. Not with this. It's a little too heavy for that, because my nose is very, very finicky with what it will tolerate, which is why I usually have cover-up on it to cover the breakouts there, but since I hadn't put the moisturizer on yet, I hadn't put it on here yet. But anyway, let's do some on the neck as well, because why not? So Kiehl's does like a whole lot of different products. I also have a much larger size from Kiehl's, but not quite of this. It's mostly the same thing, but the bigger one has sunscreen in it, because that one is right here. It's the Ultra Facial Cream with Sunscreen, and this has SPF 30 in it. And I'll, re I'll review that a different day after I use this up. This will be the next one going in, but that's for another day. What size is it? 1.7 fluid ounces. So it's not even full size. I take that back. Full size is 8 ounces. So full size. What's that? Like a big old thing? Like, I don't know. But regardless, Still, <laughs> I do like this though, because it is lightweight and everything. It's, whoop, come back, you. Uh, it's lightweight. It doesn't clog the pores or anything, so it's like non commodogenic Yeah, it's got the dropsies always, but <laughs> um, non commodogenic It doesn't break you out. It doesn't congest your pores. Uh, these are hormonal acne, sorry, TMI, but, uh, but this stuff is good. I just feel it's very overpriced for what it is, because I feel like I've had lots and lots and lots of skin moisturizers for the face that do the same thing, leave it feeling just as soft, just as bright and just as lovely. Same as this, but nowhere near as expensive. So, would I recommend this? If you've got money to blow on this stuff, absolutely. If you are sensitive to fragrance, this is a good alternative because a lot of moisturizers out there do have fragrance in them, and this is one of the few I've encountered that truly has none. Like, there's not only no fragrance, but it just doesn't smell like anything, it doesn't smell like chemicals, it's just... across the board, it smells like nothing. So, if you're very sensitive to that, it could be worth the money for you, because while the most expensive is $105, you can get a small size, like I said, four times the size of this, for $24. So, I mean, depending, you know, if you can't find anything else that'll work for you because of scent sensitivities, migraines, what have you, it could be worth it to you. 
But on the other hand, if you don't have issues with that, if you don't have issues with like skin allergies to specific things to where you have to use this, I would say you could probably almost definitely get the same effects out of something cheaper. Like you don't have to go to drugstore, although you could, you could, you definitely could. I've seen other things perform similarly. I am throwing no shade. It is a good product. But it is very spendy, and I don't see anything particularly unique about it. If there is something about it that I'm not seeing, please let me know in the comments. But just from my experiences with it, it behaves just the same as much, much, much cheaper products that I have used. So, just saying. Just saying. So, I'm not even going to give it a number rating, because again, I feel like, depending on your need, that is the real determining factor in whether or not I think you should get this stuff, so. If you have a lot of sensitivities, yes. If you don't, you can probably get by with something cheaper. So, anyway, that is it for this one, guys. So, as usual, uh, you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my eBay, my Reddit, everything and more is all down below. And if you like what I do for on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, till next time, see ya.